Uh, I'm Dr. David Barad at uh, Center for Human Reproduction, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about some studies that we've been uh, doing with uh, platelet-rich plasma. Platelet-rich plasma is just what it says. You take a sample of uh, your own blood, you concentrate it by spinning it in a centrifuge machine. So first the red cells come out, the cells are on the bottom and the plasma is on the top. Then we spin it again uh, and that concentrates the platelets in the lower part of that uh, plasma. So you've essentially stolen the platelets from the upper part of the plasma and they come down to the bottom part. So that lower part is called platelet-rich plasma because it has more platelets in it than normal plasma. Platelet-rich plasma, which we call PRP, has been used for almost 20 years in other medical fields, uh, first in sports medicine to try to improve uh, sports injuries. It's been used by dermatologists uh, for cosmetic uh, issues and to improve the quality of hair transplants. But sometime in the last uh, five, six years, it's begun to be used uh, to try to improve the function of ovaries uh, for women who have problems producing eggs uh, because they're either menopausal or approaching menopause or just have diminished ovarian reserve. We have followed this uh, research uh, for a long time at other centers and because we have many patients who have problems of uh, diminished ovarian reserve, we became interested in seeing how it would work for our patients. So we currently um, are taking care of patients in three different studies. Um, Two of them are randomized controlled trials, and the third uh, is just uh, an observational uh, study in which we're treating people and, and seeing uh, what happens. The idea is that uh, women with uh, decreased uh, ovarian function come in, uh, they've tried other ways to try to improve their ovarian function, and uh, we uh, prepare the PRP. Uh, it's administered under some light anesthesia. Uh, to the ovaries and um, then over a period of weeks afterward we see uh, what kind of effect there is. And normally people will go through an IVF cycle um, about a month or two months or so uh, after they've had the PRP treatment. In the uh, two randomized controlled trials, one group being studied are women under the age of 40 who have uh, diminished ovarian reserve, uh, actually premature menopause, and the other study is for women who are under the age of 45 um, who have evidence of diminished ovarian reserve. In those studies, in one, we're just treating one ovary for the women with premature ovarian failure, and we're comparing the effect in the ovary that's treated to the ovary that was not treated. In the other, um, we're treating women with either the platelet-rich plasma, which is the lower part of the plasma, or the platelet-poor plasma as a control. We all understand today the importance of doing a randomized controlled trial to see if something really works, um, and that's what we're trying to do with these studies. So far, uh, we've seen some encouraging results. Um, the studies are not completed yet. We seriously need people who are interested in participating in the studies uh, to come to us uh, and learn more about it uh, so we can learn more about how it works. It's truly in an investigational mode, uh, which is why we're doing these uh, studies. So if you are interested, uh, I look forward to speaking with you and uh, telling you more about it.